Hey guys, I filmed this video today. I really love this fall look. Um, I used the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill palette. I really love it. And I know it's been out for a bit, but I got it on the second go around. Um, there's so many shades. I use all these warm shades to create a fall look for y'all. I really hope you enjoy this video. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Let's get right on into it. I'm going to start off today's look by applying L'Oreal True Match with a Real Technique sponge on my entire face. I like to start with swapping motions to get it all over my face and then once it's all on I'll just start to press it into the skin. And I've already washed my face and moisturized. I use the um, Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizer. I use it day and night. I really like it. I have combination skin. I get oily here on my nose and a little bit on my chin. Um, on my cheeks I, and on the rest of my forehead I don't really get so oily. Now I'm just going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and conceal under my eyes. Because I do get oily, a lot of times just foundation will tend to break up and redness will show through. So I like to put concealer there. And I'm also putting it between my eyebrows because <laughs> I get like red marks around my eyebrows. And I'm going to put it on my chin. And I'm going to put some on my eyelids to act as a primer for my eyeshadow. I just taken a brush and my banana powder from NYX. I'm just gonna set my eyelids. Setting your eyelids before you do your eyeshadow can help the eyeshadows blend better and prevent creasing. But I recommend setting your eyelids with a face powder or a bone shade eyeshadow. I'm also going to use that banana powder to set underneath my eyes. I'm just going to pat back and forth. I'm going to set around my nose as well. For my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in with this shade here called Silk Cream. I'm just going to buff this into my crease as a transition shade with a synthetic haired blending brush. This blending brush isn't real dense so it really won't pack it on like really thick. It'll just do enough for a transition shade. With this type of brush you don't have to be real precise because it'll just blow it out for you. I don't ever want any harsh lines with the transition color. and. I have, um, I got hit with a softball whenever I was really young in this eye, and so it's always been a little more pippy than this eye, but they are hooded naturally, but getting hit when I was younger kind of made that one worse. Now I'm going to go back in with the same brush in this shade here called Pukey, and I'm going to do the same thing and blend this into my crease. I'm not going to go as high as I did with the transition shade, but I am going to blend it pretty high. This is a pretty warm shade and I love a nice warm shade for a fall look. Now I'm going to go in with this shade here. I'm going to use a natural hair brush. It's pretty dense so I'm going to go in with a light hand and I'm going to blend this on the outer portion into the inner portion. Focusing most of the color on the outer part of my crease. I'm 
Now I'm gonna go in with this dense crease brush here from Eco Tools if it will focus. And I'm gonna choose some of this shade here, this green shade, and I think it is. I think the name of it is Enchanted. I'm just gonna dab this on the outer part of my eyelid and kind of dab until it's blended because if you blend this much pigment, it could go really bad and look really choppy. So I'm just gonna dab. <laughs> If y'all hear that, it's literally like tractors driving down my road. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade here in the flat shader brush from NYX. Um, the shade is called Diva, and I'm just gonna pack it on the center part of my eyelid. into in almost almost into the inner corner but not quite then I'm gonna go in with the shape here called beam and I'm gonna put it on the inner portion of my lid and kind of blend it out with the center shade then going in with this very small brush from real techniques I'm just gonna get more of the beam shade and put it on the inner corner now taking this crease brush one more time, I'm going to get some of that green shade, not much, just a little, and blend out this so that the colors mix together really well. My eyes, the way they're made, it always tends to ripple right here, so I have to blend a lot. Going again one more time with beam, I'm just going to hit underneath my eyebrow ever so softly. Now going in with this smudger brush from Eco Tools, I'm going to go in with Pukey again, which was the uh, really warm tone crease shade, and I'm going to go underneath my eye and I'm gonna buff it out real good and I'm gonna take a little bit of that green shade and keep it on the outer part but I'm gonna buff it in as well I want to go in with this small definer brush and take that dark green shade and I'm gonna pop it in here on my waterline Now I'm gonna go in with this large blending brush from Eco Tools, and I'm just gonna wipe under each eye and in my T-zone to make sure everything is blended well. I'm gonna use the excess on my cheeks. Now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Medium to Light Contour Kit. Oh, that's a long name. And I'm gonna kinda contour bronze up my cheeks really good I'm gonna use the rest of that on my forehead on the outer parts and around the hairline there. I feel like if you add a little bit to your nose it might add some color and to highlight I'm gonna use this shade here I really love this shade as a highlight I guess because I'm so fair um, it's like a pearl shade and on my skin tone I feel like it looks really nice I'm just gonna go down the center of my nose it's off about midways and then do the dot there and then I'm gonna highlight my cupid's bow and I'm gonna take it on my finger highlight my cheekbones
Then I'm going to go in with this older Sephora brush and I'm going to take and I'm going to take this blush shade here by MAC. I'm not sure the color. I'll list it down below. It has some shimmer in it. It's not really a matte blush. I like to bring this up my cheek a little bit because it is more of a warm tone. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And put a coat of mascara on. I'm using a NYX mascara. I don't really know the name of it. I, don't, I mean, it says Le Fro Fro or Le something. I can't pronounce it right, I don't think. Now for my eyebrows, I'm just going to use the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Brow Gel. And it comes with a little spoolie. And, okay. On the top, on the very part of my arch, I'm just going to dab the spoolie straight down because I want the outer portion to have the most color. Then I'm going to buff that into the center. And then when I get to the beginning, I just wipe my brush off on a towel. And I'm just going to brush my hairs up naturally how they are. And then lay on down. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And for lips, I'm going to go in with this Rimmel lipstick. It's a really, almost like a mauve pink color in 705 Let's Get Naked. And I found that if you leave your foundation on your lips before you put on your lipstick, it can um, increase the length. What am I trying to say? It can make your lipstick last longer. And I'm going to go over top with this gloss from NYC. This is more of a bronzy color. And I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies for my false lashes today. Well, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. I love this look for the fall time. I think it's very fall appropriate. The green and... The warm tones, it's just a really good fall look. If you guys would like to see anything else from me, please let me know. I would love to film it. Um, I really hope you all like this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.